Hey, welcome to another video making the game Song Ringer on Wizard Foo. Today I'm working on giving the wall boss a special attack if you have the cursed ring. Um, so he's got a bunch of eyes, and it always would have been cool to give these eyes some lasers. He's got this sort of like thing where he shoots out that little beam which scans you and then drops bombs, but that's not as cool as like actual damage. You know? So that's what it's gonna be. Um, so basically, it's gonna be giving him an attack where he shoots out lasers, and then um, and then testing him to make sure everything still works right. Um, I tested him once this morning to make sure you could still beat him with um, with as many hit points as he has with the ring of difficulty because the the ring automatically gives all enemies 25% uh, more health currently and more damage and more intelligence. Uh, but I think uh, I think this ought to work out. I'll test it again, of course, a few times. But So let's get in there and um, first of all, let's do the mechanical portion of this and uh, sort of get the AI flowing. And then um, lastly, we'll come to the visual portion, making it look really good. Uh, I always find that doing the mechanics first sort of just helps me with my own process, helps me get over any kind of hesitation I might have in starting something new. Um, it's always, that's a, this is a huge lesson I've learned in game development and life in general, is that um, if you overanalyze things, or you think about things too much, or you try and do certain things first, like art, for example, um, it really messes up the process. But if you just dive in head first and do the simple, look, I don't know why the mechanics seem simple to me, or maybe they're more, just more fundamental. But anyways, um, it helps me to overcome hesitancy. So we're going to open up the fear boss. And he's got a section where he starts a whole bunch of attacks. This is where he resets. I think this is where he resets his, uh, yeah, his... This is where he puts his shield down. Yeah, here we go, attack. So when he goes into his attack mode, he's got a whole bunch of different sequences he can choose from. And we're gonna add one of these, which works if you have, only if you have the ring. So let's add it first. Um, We're going to do some kind of random number here. Probably be like a third or 25%, something like that. Um, that'll have to get dialed in. But first, I'm going to not even enable that line so that we can all, he'll always, every time he attacks, he'll always do these lasers. Just makes it super easy to debug. Um, if quantity ring of D is greater than zero. Um, lasers! <laughs> I think what we're going to have to do is create an entity for the laser. Um, he's got a bunch of eyes. So let's just start with the middle eye. That'll make it super easy and simple. Um, if I wanted to, I could add... I'm thinking of the, the middle eye as a bigger eye, so we could have a bigger laser. Um, and But if, if once you have one laser in there and it's working well, it's pretty easy to make a, some smaller versions of that same laser and put them in different positions and make them work for the other eyes if necessary. So we'll just start with the first eye in the middle. That ought to be good. Create an entity. Um, just something like that.
He needs to do some kind of animation. This is where he scans. This is where he does the fear gas. Oh, he makes his himself only vulnerable where he's shooting the laser out of. So this we kind of need to do all this stuff. Okay, so what is mode three? It's gonna be going into mode three after this. this is where, oh, this is gas, so we don't need that. But then gas goes into mode 10. Oh, maybe we do need to do something like, we probably need to do, a separate sequence, I'm sure this will be necessary to do like, uh, I don't know, maybe this would be laser C. Uh, maybe mode four. Let's see if we can use are you using mode four? No, good. Mode four. Free blast laser. into mode 10. Which does what? Looks like, okay, there's a couple things to do this. Yeah, after he does the bombs, after he does the gas, after the, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be right. After he does the shield down. Oh, mode 10 is reset, right. Good, okay. So we've got this thing which should put him into a state where he's only vulnerable in the middle. He animates his center attack. Um, no sound yet. I guess we just keep leave the gas sound on. I don't know. No, that's something different. Definitely gonna need some kind of laser sound. Mode four delays a little bit. Laser screen shakes, and then spawns a fear boss laser. There's really no need to set a frequency, but if anything, it should be probably zero. This doesn't matter actually. This if you're only spawning one thing, it doesn't matter. So shoot. I guess we'll keep that. Uh, whatever. Mode 10 delay two. Cool. I think it's right. Now we need to create a, a fear boss laser entity. Um, Sort of similar to, shoot, any kind of normal attack. Um, there's a Renz. Um, yeah, Renz unsheath actually. It's kind of just a, an entity that has a rectangle where it is and it just Removes itself after a second. So this will be fear, boss, laser. Make C tags. After that's done, we're going to clear and then reopen bin. Okay. We open up this fear, boss, laser. And we're gonna give it a render component so we can see it. Um, image is gonna be, let's just do a total, just a rectangle. So this is gonna be image pixel. Um, scale, shoot, can we do a scale? It's two components. Oh, this might be something new. Render component, scale, I mean scale. Scale strain. Oh yeah, it does have a sweet. Let 
And what if we had just, this is probably right, parse vector, give it that, parse vector to lim, lms, if lms size is greater than, right, right, right. Okay, I was just checking that if you only had one element, it would work, and it does, so. Scale, something like, uh, how many, 60 pixels wide is about three blocks, and 100, how tall is this gonna be? Well, it needs to be at least the height of the whole screen, so this needs to be 240 tall, um, and like 100 Z tall, Category shot bow, collision size, 60, 240. Oh, the scale, scale is not 3D. Scale is 2D. Damage, let's do a lot of damage. One should be good. Mass, it can't be moved, that's right. I guess you need this input for an AI to work. Okay, I, idle, I guess we could just do pixel mapping. Yeah, this is better to do than using image right there because later on we can actually create an, a, an animation for it. Um, sequence timer, timer begin, timer point two, move after we get down. I'm thinking uh, instead of point two seconds, this could last up to a second maybe. Let's do a whole second at first just to. Um, be obvious about it. And then we'll also give it a color. Um, what color is that? Let's do something that kind of works with the fear boss. Oops. Raw sprites. Uh, bosses? No. Shadow. Fear boss? No. Is it backgrounds? No. Uh, No? No shadow? There it is. I'm thinking that red color ought to do. That reddish orange color. Probably the orange. Let's see what he does is attack. Let's see. See what happens. Oh, one obvious thing. So, it's gonna be wide. It might be aligned with this. Yeah. It's, okay, that needs to be when it spawns the fear boss laser. It needs to go like a whole negative two forty at least, or maybe more like two twenty. if it did but as long as it yeah as long as it moves as long as it goes away soon enough it shouldn't matter it's gonna be complicated to try and attach it to the wall boss because that's just complicated so shoot this is off to a good start actually I was lining up with um, the wall boss's eye which means that it needs to be about how many pixels about there 43 pixels or so 240 minus, so more like negative 200. And let's give it um, a little bit of opacity so we can see what's going on behind it. And let's make it go away faster. 
And we'll add, oh, this is going to be super cool to have a sweet sound effect for. Something lasery. Okay, so he's fear boss. Um, he doesn't go into his attack nearly enough. Target any if timer zero. Timer. Oh, it's his timer. Okay, I'm thinking when he goes into mode ten, he resets and sets a timer for when he can attack again. Okay, yeah, here's where it is. Oh yeah, and his timer gets more and more depending on... Um, if he has... Uh, how much hit points he has. Let's make one more select. So if we have the ring of difficulty, then this is going to be even more. So he's just gonna like attack even more often. Let's just verify all these indents, make sure this is right. If hit points is less than 0.3, select. Yeah, so this is going to make him attack faster if you've got the ring. It should ramp up his difficulty a bit without um, really affecting anything else like his hit points. Maybe the laser should do more damage too. Give the fear boss laser like a super tiny weenie scale there, so on the X, so that we can obviously see the collision entity instead of the visual entity.
Okay, so actually, this is practically mechanically complete. I guess we should have a, a randomness to how much it appears. Um, and okay, timing and screen shake and some kind of lasery noise. Lasery noise would be last, and then lastly, uh, animation. So there's two last things. Last thing and last thing. Okay, let's make it happen more often, too, at the beginning of the ring. Listen to the headphones. screen shake for that. Just want to really have an impact. That's better. Maybe a little too long though. It needs to be pretty swift. Okay, let's start up a sound effect. I mean, it's better to have something that kind of works for the sound effect to kind of help the mechanics, because you, as a player, you can kind of feel it more when there's a sound. I'll 
Check it out. The fixer's got a laser shoot. Whoa, what happened to me? Dude. Sorry if that was too loud. Dude, come on. Keeps resetting the freaking master volume. Frustrating things. Let's see if we turn down the overall audio. What? Ah. Um, is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Still really loud there. Sorry, everybody. Let's turn down to ten percent. Jesus. Oh wait. Oh, there we go. Okay. Maybe it should be twenty-five percent then. Okay, that's still kind of loud, but not as much as before, so we'll keep it like that for this stream. Let's do some random lasers here, see if we can find something good. This one's funny, 28. <laughs> I'm just trying to cobble something together quickly. Sounds really cheesy. Well, let's just get it going. You know, it's it's kind of more important to work on mechanics and timing, or t timing really is what I'm talking trying to talk about here. When it comes to this making a sound effect, you almost need to know, you know, how much silence should there be at the beginning, or or delay, or, or ramping up the sound, and things like that. Well, get the timing just right, it really helps everything else.
So, obvious example there. That timing was way off. So, um, even though it's a super duper cheesy sound effect and I don't like it at all, it helps so much just to have the, that sound there, um, it kind of like helps the, the, the play, the gameplay, the feeling of it. Um, so kind of not feeling the whole creative vibe of creating the right sound effect for it just right now. So I'm just gonna let that sit for a while. I'll probably have to um, create all this, or I mean, finish this AI and these mechanics, and like go take a long break and then come back to it with a fresh mind because right now my mind is a bit, uh, I don't know. I'm not ready for this right now. So um, take my headphones off. Um, let's work on art just a little bit. Well. Let's get the mechanics down all the way. Yeah, so we'll do testing. We'll do the gameplay testing right now. And um, art and music can kind of come later, the refinement of that bit. So yeah, let's try RAN.25 at first. And Yes, let's go ahead and fight him. Wow. Yeah, it definitely amps up the intensity of that boss fight having him have extra health. He's barely are able to beat him. Okay. That was cool, but he didn't do it often enough. Let's set that down to point four or so. Try it again. First of all, let's go ahead and fight him uh, without the ring. And I want to start with the right amount of hit points, full hit points, I mean. So without the ring, should be easier, much easier to beat him.
of thinking in the back of my mind whether he needs um, uh, more lasers. Like, one big laser in the middle is feeling like enough to me. Maybe actually, maybe it should be one laser and then delay, and then another laser and then, and then delay and then another laser. There's like three total lasers coming out of the center, left, right, and then that way, um, and then they all happen in succession without having to like randomly roll and attack again. Oh yeah, it's really it's so beatable without the ring of difficulty now. Compared to that. Other fight. Okay, good. So he's the same. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the mechanics so he has got three different lasers. And instead of mode 4, we'll do mode 40. So you can go into like 40, 41, 42. So we got laser C, let's go laser L. This is mode 41. And then he goes into mode 42. Does laser R. Three in the ring? Yeah. Uh, 42. Back to mode 10. Now we can always do like sort of like a random delay between these. Let's do like 0. Point, like 1.0 to 1.5 or so between each one of these. And actually, we'll want to go to data weapons. And uh, move Fear Boss Laser to Fear Boss Laser C. This one will be like a different width and stuff. Fear Boss Laser C to Fear Boss Laser L and R. There we go. Make C tags clear. Bin. Now we got this one's C, this one's L, this one's R. Okay, so this one's gonna, the first one's gonna come out of his left eye. So that's about uh, 56.27. So it's negative 56, and instead of this being 240, that's 27. So this is like 210 to 213. Let's see 213. That was L. Damn it. This one's L. Ugh, gotta get more sleep, man. Gotta get more sleep on a regular basis. I get stressed out when I'm not sleeping enough. Any one of these will do. Let's do this laser. So laser C is the same. Oh, is that a position? Oh. I didn't want that. Let's get rid of that. And 
And these are going to be smaller, smaller lasers. These are maybe 20. What are these? 28? This is, yeah, 30 would be good, I guess. That one's only 23. Okay, let's see. Laser L will be 30. And then laser R will be 20. Okay. Let's hope it works. Oh, and we want them to go into this right away. So just guaranteed goes and does this. Cool. That was awesome. So we need to add 12 to each one of these as a block, so. Wait, wait, is that right? It's in a negative. I think it's right. So the right one looked like it needed to come into a couple pixels and be a little wider. Oh, it needs to do the right animations too. All of those look like they needed to go um, the positions need to be up a little more which means they need less negative Let's try about four pixels off of all these
was it? Nine needs to be less wide. But yeah, they all looked about right, except for the center one needed like a couple more pixels. The left one needed to go less wide. Center, okay, the center one needs to be a tiny bit more narrow. So does the left one and the right one. Let's get, take away four each time until we get something right. Right one needs to be in a couple more pixels, and needs to be more narrow. Laser L needs to be wider. So does C. so he gets knocked back the right way. Because right now he keeps getting knocked towards. Oh, I need to go narrow. Okay. Left more narrow. Um. Okay, if we do a render offset, or anchor offset, of negative. Okay, let's just do anchor offsets for all of these. So this one, center, is negative 206. Laser L is negative 221. This one's negative 217.
So, um, If I make the collision size twice as tall, oh, and it's uh, So it just won't work. Ah, there's no way to do this? What? down to knockback. Knockback. Health system knockback. It's one of these. Does we use a shield? Oh, there we go. This is where an entity gets hurt. It needs to be its source. Source in. Source. Oh, its source. All oh, its source gets passed into this. No, source is that. Source has never been accounted for.
This one definitely needs this. It needs to account for the collision size. Um, that all needed to be tested, shoot. I mean, in like a bajillion different places, I gotta test the whole game basically to make sure that doesn't break anything. But let's put it in for now. See if this works. And then, then I'll take a nap. I'm gonna take a nap soon. So we're on the bottom of the screen. Let's get hit by this and see if it puts me down further. Laser. If this collision size is twice as tall, then it should push the center point of its knock back. Up further. So that you always get knocked to the south. Without changing the render at all. Somehow that seemed to help, but it's too Oh well. Oh well. I can debug it all this later. This is a good start, actually. Got these three different lasers going, that's kind of cool. Got the mechanics mostly finished. I mean, knocking the player back in an accurate direction vector. I mean, that's in, it's simple enough. I just have to go debug it with Xcode and figure out why it's not giving you the right vector there. And then of course, debug all the other enemies in the game with their knockbacks and make sure that that, that didn't break back. Pretty sure that would actually help to add in. This is the source Y. Um, yeah, and then some more final testing on the fear boss to make sure the mechanics are cool. And then, and then finally doing a new sound effect and a new animation for that laser. Um, so all in all, this has been one of the most one of the most time-consuming attacks to add to all these bosses. But this one's worth it. You know, these lasers are pretty cool. So. Yeah, hopefully I can finish that today and then do one more boss tonight. I'm almost finished. Almost finished with the whole cursed rings. All the special attacks for all the bosses. This is like one of the last three bosses, I think, or so. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, catch you all next time.